Salute to Hoops guys, welcome back, another day, another video. It is Salute Sunday, we got the laptop out, and you know what that means, we're talking about investing. So, before we get into it, like and subscribe, tell your friends what's going on here, if they're interested in basketball, basketball cards, or investing in them, we're kind of starting to do that around here. Now, I have also noticed that a lot of these investing videos, the two, yeah, the the uh, huge amount I have so far hopefully more come so it's we're just starting here I noticed that the two have gotten a pretty good amount of likes and really good feedback so I think that we're gonna I'm gonna try to make this a kind of more regular regular thing so getting into it as you can see we're talking about Tremont Waters today I know there's a lot of people uh, kind of high on this guy uh, I know a lot of people on Instagram that are collecting him whether it's PC or, or investing in him so I kind of wanted to make this video and kind of give you guys my viewpoint and whether or not I'm going to be I am investing in him or am going to be investing in him so Tremont Waters he's listed at 5'11 on the draft site here uh, but at the NBA Combine uh, he measured at 5'9 so he's definitely a shorter guy came from LSU average 15 uh, 15 and 8 I believe at LSU so definitely some respectable numbers there he plays on the Celtics now he was drafted I believe the 51st pick or so and he spent the majority of the season in the uh, G League so there's not a lot of NBA true NBA stats to go off of uh, but we'll try to take that into consideration as much as possible we're going to move back up here so I've watched Tremont play a couple times. I watched a video on him. This guy can definitely play basketball. I think that he's going to be in the NBA for for a while because he shows that uh, he's got what it takes. So even even at his height. That being said, uh, just going over some things that I noticed from him is jump. He he can definitely shoot the ball for sure. Uh, he relies heavily on his quickness and his speed. Of course, I mean, most shorter NBA players are going to. His three-point shot, it's there. Uh, it's not nothing like super deadly or anything, but he can definitely shoot the open three. Uh, he can play defense. Um, that was in college, though, so we're going to go kind of you know, take into consideration his height and talk about the NBA for a little bit. Um, another thing that I also noticed is that he can get he can drive the lane now he's not going to be scoring you know like a russell westbrook in the lane but he for his size he can definitely get to the lane or into the basket for sure and if he if he runs into a taller player he uh he kicks out the ball too he's got a great great court awareness and court vision for a guy his his size which is definitely uh respectable so as you can see his nba comparison on NBA Draft.net here was Tyler Eulis or Shane Larkin, so which is I mean, they're 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 decent players, but they're not you know anything to to be I guess compared to who I would want to be compared to if I was him. So moving forward here, I just picked out some of the more notable players in the league that are five eleven and below. Uh, Nate Robinson and Isaiah Thomas, I know they're not in the league anymore, but they're they're going to be on the list, so just bring it over here a little closer to you guys. As you can see, so Isaiah Thomas, uh, I read up on that, did some research, and he's actually the number one uh, NBA player, 5'11 and below as far as like statistics go, so no other player 5'11 and below has uh, averaged uh, 18 points per game. Uh, like Isaiah Thomas did. Unfortunately, he got injured, and that kind of screwed a lot of things up for him. Uh, but if we look at Tremont Waters, so these are not his NBA stats. We're going to go off of his G League stats. So as you can see, he averaged 33 minutes per game. Let's get that out of here. He shot 42% from the field, almost basically 43. 35% from the three-point, and then uh, seven assists per game. So, And he was the G League MVP this year, if I'm not mistaken. So these are all respectable numbers for sure. Like I said, the three-point, it's it's not really that great. 35% is iffy. Yeah. Definitely not elite numbers. In the NBA, elite numbers you're looking at, I think Steph Curry shoots 43% from the three. So 
but these are definitely respectable. Now, can he translate this in, into the NBA? We're going to have to find that out. I don't know how much time he's going to get in the bubble. Hopefully, if he does, we'll get a better look at what he can bring to the table. So, but like I said, 18 points per game, 7 assists, not bad at all, especially for the for a rookie. So, moving on here, these are, we got J.J. Barea, Larkin, Shane Robinson, Isaiah Thomas, and Tyler Eulis. These are all players that are in the NBA that are kind of more notable and that are around Tremont's height. So, it's a three-point league. Uh, Tremont was shooting 35% in the G League which would put him just above Tyler Ulysses and Shane Larkin. So J.J. Barea has never really been known for doing anything too admirable on the court. So in all reality, Tremont Waters is kind of average when it comes to his height as far as shooting the three-point. Even Nate Robinson and Isaiah Thomas were pretty close here at 36%. So moving on to some player comparisons over the last 20 years or so. I threw Allen Iverson in here because we all know that Allen Iverson was listed at 6 feet, but he was definitely not 6 feet. So we got Muggsy Bogues, Earl Boykins, Allen Iverson, Damon Stoudemire, Spud Webb, and Tremont Robinson. Now this is a generational thing, so people, we, people weren't shooting that many three-pointers back when these guys were playing, so... Uh, you had Earl Boykins here, who was five foot five, shooting thirty four percent, basically thirty five. So, uh, and as well as Damon Stoudemire, two of the more current current guys on the list. So, Tremont's really, like I said, kind of on average with these guys as far as height and the three point uh, percentage goes. Damon Stoudemire was also. I believe, if, not, if I'm not mistaken, number two behind Tremont, or not Tremont, excuse me, number two behind uh, Isaiah Thomas as far as points per game for a player below the height of 5'11". Now, to throw Allen Iverson on this list was kind of unfair because Allen Iverson was literally the only player on that team scoring. Uh, so those numbers are not fair to Tremont at all. But... Props to AI. I forget how great he was. He also shot uh, not. He was not a good three-point shooter. Thirty-one percent from the field. So, but if you if you remember seeing Allen Iverson play, he was doing everything else on the court too. So you, you can't knock him for that. So, just based on kind of these small statistics, we don't have a lot of time to make like a super analytical video. Uh, but Tremont uh, is kind of. Like I said, he's on average with all the other guys in his height class when it comes to shooting and field goal percentage, so on and so forth. <clears throat> but we don't have any NBA, any true NBA games to compare Tremont to, so we're we're kind of iffy. We're kind of iffy, but we'll work through it. Now, the one comparison that I really think Tremont uh, can make in the league as far as players go is going to be this man right here so we got dj augustine if you've seen both of them play they they play extremely similar uh, dj augustine can shoot the open three uh, he can create his own space great dribbler can drive to the basket and has excellent court vision it's literally exactly like tremont waters tremont might be a little faster than dj uh, but DJ is also a little older. But in my opinion, I, th I would compare him more so to DJ Augustine in the, in the NBA than like Tyler Eulis or Shane Larkin, like NBA Draft. That net did. Now, DJ Augustine uh, shoots almost 38% from the three point, 41% uh, from the field. His career average is almost 10 points per game and four four assists per game. So nothing too major there. But a lot of, like I said, it, a lot of these shorter guys, there's a, there's, those are going to kind of be the stats. you got to be a real special player, uh, that being Isaiah Thomas, to, to be like a star. Now, do I think Tremont Waters 
is going to be like a superstar in the NBA. Let's let's show him here. I'm not knocking uh, Tremont Waters at all. I, I, like I said, I think he's a really good player. But the numbers are definitely against him and him becoming a superstar in the NBA. Does that mean he's not going to carve out you know, a good NBA career? Not at all. As you can see, we, we went through count, countless guys here uh, that played in the NBA for years, and these aren't the only ones. This is just a small number. So there have been some guys that fizzled out that were short, uh, but you know, just because you're short doesn't mean that you can't play in the NBA. That being said, having gone over all this, do I think that Tremont Waters is particularly a good investment right now? In my opinion, I, I, I am not investing in him, but that's not to say that he's not a good investment, especially given his numbers, on his, his prices on his cards. Let's just do some eBay shopping here. And as you can see, Tremont Waters' rookie prism card just went for two bucks. This one went for a dollar. Uh, that's an auto, which went for 40. You know, we got Optic Fast Break Hollows going for five. So, he's by by no means is Tremont Waters a high risk when it comes to investing, at least not right now. Uh, his numbers, so, as far as his cards go, are super low. So you can grab a bunch of Tremonts, and if he does have you know one or two good seasons in, in the NBA, uh, like Isaiah Thomas did, uh, then you can sell him off for X amount of money. I don't know how much um, how much. Isaiah Thomas's cards went up when he was killing it in the league. But going forward, yeah, let's see, we got 21 bucks here. I got, I got distracted. Uh, moving on, yeah. I myself am not investing in Tremont Waters. I probably have enough of his cards here anyway, just in my, my um, normal rookie basement uh, to... If he were to ever actually like become a superstar or something, I'd be all right. But I, right now, I'm not going to be actively investing in Tremont Waters only because I just haven't seen enough of him to kind of pull the trigger on it. Now, once the season starts back up, maybe next year when we actually hopefully have a normal season, we can get a better comparison and a better gauge on whether you know whether his investment. Uh, Will be a good or a bad one, but right now, it, the mud, the water is kind of muddy, so it's going to be a no for me. But things could always change in the future for Tremont. Like I said, he's definitely a good player, but whether or not he's going to be a superstar in the NBA is it's kind of up in the air. So Tremont, thanks for joining us. I'm going to put you right here. So I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the the video. I'm going to hop on eBay here and see if I can get some steals on some other cards here. Uh, but I appreciate you guys watching. I hope you guys like the investment videos. If you do, let me know in the comments who you would like to see me talk about next as far as investing goes. And I'll, I'll definitely make a video for sure. So next week, I'm hoping to get some Chronicles too. If it comes out near me, I'll have a video for you guys on that as well. Until then, guys, like I said, thanks for watching and I will see you next time.